G'day everybody, welcome back to Sad Rock. Hope you guys are doing well. In the previous episode, I would definitely have to say that the highlight was... Oh, uh, train's coming. I was just going to uh, walk in front of the tracks to show you guys the, the tree up top in the mountains over there. Obviously, that's uh, quote-unquote mama tree, desert, widow. Um, but yeah, it seems to be recovering and recovering quite well and we got a bit of a cutscene there about Morton um you know uh the the letter from Martel uh and I sort of talked about some of my speculations there uh but anyway aside from that we did have a nice hangout date with Mian uh and I think I did relatively well though I think I sort of fumbled things towards the end anyway it was okay. Uh, let me have a look at commissions available to us. We do have four available slots, so let's just take what we can. Make as much money as we could for the day. Uh, and in terms of tasks, well, towards the end of the previous episode, we picked up this. Uh, Mini Botanica. So basically, Nia having sort of resolved a lot of the issues with growing in Sandrock. Uh, she's looking to obviously settle and uh, she was sort of thinking about what sort of business that she was trying to uh, or going to run and um, the idea is to run a, a little botanical shop that sells both planting tools and also flowers and other plants. Thank you. Owen's got something to say here. Uh. Wow, so Mort and Martel's tree came back to life. That's a nice little cherry on top of all of this, huh? We should have little get-togethers up there like old times. Those way, way old times. So long, partner. All right, all good. And uh, we do also have a fireside meeting to attend, but that's not going to happen until tomorrow. Uh, let me just have a, a look at the calendar. Um, yeah, fireside meeting at... Uh, it is actually pretty late. Five. Um, so yeah, better not be late. But uh, yeah, for now, let's just get these commissions done. Uh, we did also look at the map towards the end of the previous episode and discovered that there's actually quite a lot of stuff happening in town, so... I'm gonna want to try and hit up as many of those things as possible. Uh, before moving on to the next day, because you know how it is. This game likes to sort of skip stuff if you're, you know, not quick enough. So, Rocky, got your commission right here. Or a couple of commissions, that is. Man, it's so nice to come out of the ruins and see all this. Seeing so much green, it's like... How could I ever get mad at anything again? I guess he is known for having a bit of a temper, but uh, he hasn't really shown that too much. I remember, you know, arriving like one of the first things that happened was him uh, beating Yan down, or at, at least attempting to. Um, Alright. So, next up we have... Coop. Uh, probably just in his farm somewhere. See if we can get his commission done, and then uh, I know that we do need to do stuff for Mian and Nia. They're going into business together. I still don't think that's such a great idea, but you know, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, we have to wait for a letter anyway, so it's not like we can do too much about that one um, right this moment, but. Uh, I figure that gives us an excuse to have a chat with various other people about stuff that they need done after the recent events. Coop? Hey there! Got your tiles there. Um... Dang, Nabbit. I bet Hugo 50 goals back round first fireside Trudy came back that you'll never turn this desert green again. That's alright, you didn't know, Blue. I'm telling you would have be sorry would have bespattered the integrity of the bet 
Can I borrow 50 golds? <laughs> so long, partner. Well, I'd lend him 50 golds. 50 golds, not too difficult to come by. I'm going to steal all of his manure, though. Because we can convert that into fertilizer. And now that uh, we've got Rosie doing a lot of the watering, uh, that's really freeing us up to do all sorts of other things. Okay, so time to check in with various people in town. So apparently there's uh, something happening at Pablo's place. Yes, I remember we did receive some kind of a letter. I'm sort of secretly hoping that uh, he's gone back to his, uh, his fashion designing. Because we did see a few pictures uh, that he drew way back when. And they were really, really good. So hopefully he's gotten re-inspired and then continuing on some of that good work. Just want to also mention a quick thank you to all of you guys who are leave leaving a lot of comments. And uh, particularly those who are leaving like tips and tricks and stuff. Because... Yeah, there's certain parts of this game that, you know, sort of baffle me a little bit. But yeah, things like this, the wall lamp, um, I keep forgetting that I do need to buy the wall lamps here at By the Stairs. So I suppose maybe I do need to just come back and, you know, buy wall lamps occasionally. Um, because I do need quite a few of those wall lamps. I do know that there are, uh, lamps that you can... Uh, I guess get by just using the home editing tool, um, those ceiling lights and stuff, but I sort of want these wall lamps. These wall lamps kind of look nice, in my opinion, anyway. Let's check in with Pablo. Darling, you're here. I promised you I'd help. I knew you'd remember. I've already finished designs for two collections. I'll give you a sneak preview. I designed two sets of clothing, some formal wear and swimwear. I've made more than 10 sets for each design. They're all really lovely. <laughs> you really are so wonderful. The scene, a rapidly changing sand rock. Blooming flowers, celebrations all around. The people, still dressed in their boring clothes. We need some aesthetics. We lack diversity. We need a breath of new, fashionable air. And then, here we are, with the lush trees, the flowing water, and the longing for a long dip. So light bulb moment, swimsuits. I never thought this day would come, but I finally think the time is right. I am going to put these on the catwalk. A fashion show? Yes, a fashion show. As I was drawing them, I could picture it. The lights, the gasping faces, the stunning designs, and me, at the back, needling the final touches on a hypnotizing piece. It will be a two-day affair, each day focusing on one series. This was, I am hesitant to admit, in fact Trudy's idea. She was more than supportive and believed one day to simply be too short. Now, what else is needed? First of all, clothing production. I am but the designer. I do not possess the skill to create these magnificent pieces. Ha! I can see your expression. No, I do not need you to make them. I have already asked Vivi, and she has agreed to work with me. Now, the issue of the venue. Trudy believes that the show could bring in tourists, and offered to host it outside the city hall. But the construction of the stage will be your piece de resistance. With Trudy's support, honestly, this has grown bigger than I could have imagined. I even have my models, and they love the designs. Heidi's already made a diagram for you. You just need to make it and give it to me. That's not a problem, right? Yeah, you can count on me. You're quite the go-getter, aren't you? It's positively charming. Well, I just have to prepare the clothes, organize the order of the show, then, when you have built the stage, please give it to me. Believe me, Sandrock will soon be the cosmopolitan hub of the free cities. Sweet. Okay, there we go. So, uh, apparently we're getting some kind of a fashion show. And perhaps maybe it could be like a, like a reoccurring fashion show or something like that. I mean, uh, this is probably just a, a pilot. Uh, we've got everything we need for the runway, so we could complete that pretty quickly, but um, 
I'm not gonna rush into too many of these things, guys, because, um... I, I feel like a lot of things may be happening all at once. And I do want to focus on just getting that fireside meeting out of the way. Although, you know, we do have certain things that might have timers on them, so... Uh, we just need to be a little bit careful. If anything, uh, Mian and Nia's idea for their business is going to take priority before Pablo's fashion show. Let's check out what's going on in the Civil Corps. I've been in contact with the Alliance Council, and I just can't in good faith recommend anything other than the full extent of the law. Transfer to the Atara Maximum Security Prison. Ooh, okay. That's pretty brutal. I mean, he did conspire against us, but... I think he was misled as well. By Duvos, so... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. You betrayed us, and have shown no sign of remorse. I will contact the authorities and organize the transport. I accept our punishment, Trudy. And will abide accordingly. Then... I will keep you informed of the date of your departure. I just can't understand it. Why? It's no excuse. But I did what I believed was right. But this town, everyone living here, after all you did for us, everything you said in your sermons, you kept us safe, your guidance. <sighs> I even trusted you to teach my daughter! Huh. I thought you cared. I truly do. Please, don't give me that. He's right, Duvos for life. Uh, he was used, Trudy. No, I was not used. I was betrayed. My actions were my own. And I am no one's puppet. I will face all the consequences with dignity. Well, thank you for your cooperation. You said that the water was a cover for their true intentions. I have been taken for a fool. This I realize now more than ever. I truly thought Duvos wanted the same thing as me. They were on the right side of history. Their actions do not correlate to the proclamations they gave me. Recently, I have been grasping at something, anything, that would validate my actions since I have been in Sandrock. The more I searched, the more I came to only one truth. There was nothing. My handlers were simply telling me what they wanted me to believe. That must have been simply a diversion. If I could have pushed everyone out of Sandrock, then Duvos could excavate the ruins in secrecy. My arrest threw a proverbial wrench into the works, and it appears to have pushed their hand. I was then left to rot. They never cared about me. They never cared about my ideals. I was a fool. How did you fall for all of this? When I was of age, I left to study in mating. My family were believers in the light, and I dreamed of spreading the word. I always feared the day of calamity. I feared the light being extinguished once more. I quickly befriended Matilda. She was older than me, working as a tutor in the guided study sessions. I remember when I first met her when I attended her session the first time. She was helping a group of students with their questions on faith. She was kind, understanding. Whenever I disagreed with the doctrine of the church, she listened. Later, I started to feel that the teachings were not enough. What did you disagree with? The Church of the Light has an unwavering trust in people above all else. It's the individual people that got the human race through the Age of Darkness. This is why you see Sandrock being somewhat loose with Age of Corruption technology. I am somewhat more pessimistic about human nature. I 
allowing humans freedom to pursue their vanities is what led to the Day of Calamity. Those around me in the church did not take the teaching seriously. Even the deacon. It was as if they had forgotten the sins of our forefathers. During my studies, I became depressed. I drifted further from the teachings, became isolated, and found myself more radical. Then, an agent from Duvos made contact. And the things they told me. That Duvos would regulate technology. Everything I heard aligned with my beliefs. They wanted structure. They wanted to ensure no one else ever lost their lives. They wanted to ensure the safety of humanity. I see now in retrospect, Matilda used my grief against me. She was conditioning me. She must have told an agent of my wavering faith and guided their hand from the background. Did something happen to you? <sighs> While I was studying in Mady, my town was destroyed. I'm from Dos. I'm a child of the lost city. I do want to say that I am sorry, but... I do want to know what happened at Dos. Our existence was always a delicate balance. Being a town skirting the border of the peripheries, we were aware of the dangers, but largely went unbothered. As I went to study in Mady, I bid my hometown farewell, though kept in regular contact. It may surprise you, but I took part in many of the onboarding activities and was a strong advocate for the church school. It seems strange to reflect on that now. During my studies, Dos was attacked by a creature from the peripheries. It happened overnight, without warning. Everyone in town was killed. My parents. My brother. You cannot imagine it. My entire town destroyed by a monster in the blink of an eye. Just thinking about what my people went through. It is truly harrowing. The depths of despair cannot comprehend what my family endured. I pray that it was quick. When the news was announced at school, I felt everyone's eyes on me. They were fixed, filled with an empty pity. I fell into a trance, simply glided through the halls, unable to process what had happened. I needed to talk, to confront it. Where were the rangers or the civil corps? How did we not see it coming? How? How could the Alliance let this happen? The questions burned into my mind. I sought answers, but people avoided me. Said I was too intense. Within a week, people were laughing again. Enjoying themselves. They'd all forgotten Countless lives lost, yet they returned to their lives again as if nothing had happened. Everyone simply avoided me further, except for Matilda. She was. I fell into the darkness. I sunk into the questions that were burning on my tongue. How could the Alliance let this happen? How are we allowing the sins of our forefathers leave us in ruin? How could the Free City simply abandon us? I expected a rescue. I expected the rangers to search and destroy that monster from the peripheries, but... No. They saw it as a lost cause and moved on. My family were not even buried. They were left there for the wilds to consume. It was then that my heart was blackened to the Alliance, that my thoughts started to drift. I was vulnerable. I was lost. I was found by Matilda and led astray. She would encourage me to think independently, to question myself. She said my fears were valid and that I was a fiercely independent thinker. And while she did not agree with me, she valued my beliefs. I now believe she was taking note of my doubts. 
and behind closed doors crafting a narrative that reciprocated my beliefs. A narrative she then passed on to handlers. It was no mere coincidence that I was sold a beautiful vision of Nicholas. I should have seen this sooner. But I was blinded by their words. It answered all of my questions. Wow. Everything is coming out, including his past. What a sad story. So, everything you believed about Duvos turned out to be all lies. It appears so. All that I took for Duvos' ideals were simply my own being reflected back to me. In that light, what I have done to Sandrock is unforgivable. It is only now that the blinds have been pulled back. I must face my actions head on. I still believe that we as a species need to control our desires to pursue unfettered technology. DOS must not happen again. However, that does not excuse what I did. I have wronged the people of this town and the free cities. I must accept penance for my actions. I must take this as a time for personal growth. Thank you for coming to see me on this time. Wow. I mean, I have deep respect for Miguel for accepting his punishment and realizing that he was wrong. It takes a lot of courage to do that. Hmm. Alright. Goodness me, that was a little bit heavy, wasn't it? Um, let's move on to the next place. Because I think there is still one more... Thing somewhere. Apparently, it's just right next to the uh, the desert widow. So let's head out there and let's check on what's going on. Because again, don't want to miss out. Uh, I do need to hit up a Yaknal station though, so I'll uh, go to the temple and grab a Yaknal from there. I do hope Miguel is going to be okay. I mean. You know, he did betray the people of the town, but I think he was misled, as I said. Um, you know, if he does get punished, I hope it's not such a severe punishment. Particularly considering he's realized his mistake. Alright, oh look at this place. So much greenery. This is probably the best spot in Sandrock, to be honest. Oh! <laughs> Didn't expect to run into you here. Came to enjoy the view? Yeah, you too. I'm here to collect some samples. Look at this. Now that the mama tree is back to life, other plants are thriving around it. Huh. <sighs> Life truly begets life. When trees reach a certain age, they start being a life support system for various other life forms in the ecosystem. Each has its own preferences and requirements. But even with that, they grow together like a family made of different parts. I need to collect some specimens so I can really get into the nitty gritty of how they're growing. But I kinda forgot to bring my climbing gear. Can you give me a boost? I just need to ascend a bit and collect some plant samples from up there. <laughs> just like how we used to collect cherries. Alright, well, just be careful. Oh, you're the best. Back in Highwind, I took a field research course, and loads of it was climbing into these crazy places to collect samples. Collecting samples isn't as easy as just taking a handful and moving on. You need to be careful you maintain their structure and integrity. Nature is delicate, you know. Don't worry. I've done this loads before. Look, I'll climb up from right there. I see it. Oh, just a little further. 
Okay, this looks dangerous. That's it. Just a little more. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, that was kind of scary. Thank you. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Ooh. If it weren't for you, I think I'd probably be at Fangs right now. Next time I do any climbing around, I should bring my equipment. Well, I've got all the samples I need. Thanks for the help. See you later. Alright, I swear, this game just gives us plenty of opportunities to, uh, you know, develop our relationship and uh, to profess our love uh, for Nia, but uh, no. Uh, Mian is the one, guys, uh, <laughs> so <laughs> we're still, we're still focused, ladies and gentlemen, focused. Um, let me actually take a look here because I was reading some comments, uh, and some of the comments did mention that you can check on whether or not you can hang out with people. Um, so I'm not entirely sure how to do that. Is it here? Like, cause... Uh, as you know, I can't really hang out with people on a day-to-day -day basis. It, we always have to sort of, um, leave, you know, a couple of days or so before, uh, re-attempting. But then, I don't really know where you can check, uh, when you can actually hang out. Okay, we've got a lot of best friends here, including Mian. No one's in the sweetheart category. Um. Oh, leave. Okay, so I'm guessing these people are just basically never going to return? Possibly? Uh, we're actually really good friends with Pen, <laughs> if you think about it. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure where to check, actually, um, so I might actually review the, the comments once more to try and take a look, but I'm not- I'm not seeing it here. Unless I'm supposed to see it in, like, another place. But anyway, I think we're done checking out all of the events that are happening. Uh, so we've got a couple of new side quests to sink our teeth into. Uh, not today, probably, because... I feel like we're sort of getting towards the end of the day, and I haven't really done too much aside from uh, make a bit of money from uh, from those commissions. So I think it's time for us to do our gathering for the day. And we better check on the machines as well a little bit later before we go to sleep and the farm. Still haven't seen the day when um, you fella salvage will start having nano materials, but I think you fella salvage also doesn't have quite a few things that we need, like including the titanium and the ceramic waste. I haven't really seen those either, so perhaps maybe some of the higher level materials never get added to. You fell a salvage. Who knows? Oh, and uh, I'm just trying to think here. Have I explored all of this area? Just trying to see if there if there's actually anything, any pathways. I'm not sure if there's something over there that could be leading to a 
a thing. Maybe I can check, actually, because we do have a bit of time. Ah, yes. Okay. Right, that, that's a little janky. There we go. I believe it's up this way, right? So we'll take a quick look. I don't think we can actually do anything here. I don't think we can go in. Okay, yep. Yeah, I thought we would be able to just continue on this pathway, but... There's an invisible wall here. Don't know if it is a future thing, or if... Basically, we've reached the end. I'm guessing more of the latter. all of these guys alone. I'm not entirely sure there's really much else. Uh, let's jump on to Merle, and I think what we'll do is just swing by to pick up some Celipedes. Oh, actually, there's a little bit more down there, which I've missed. Overbush. Okay, apparently we've seen these before. I'm just trying to remember where I can find undead grass now. Um, considering Mian likes undead grass for whatever reason. And also, I think the other thing that was given to me as uh, a suggestion to give to Mian when we can actually gift her next is to gift her the... I think it's called Dragon's Blood and that's the stuff that we get from cutting down those Draconia trees. So I'll give those a go. Actually I should hold them 
uh, in our inventory constantly, that way we're always ready with a supply. Getting pretty late, so gonna head back and we'll have a sleep. We'll do a few things in the morning, kill a little bit of time before we get to five o'clock and we'll attend that fireside meeting and we'll see what happens next. I could be checking on machines and stuff like that, and the farm, but you know what, I'll leave all of that until tomorrow morning. I don't really need to do it right now. Okay, so... I assume we should get the letter from Mian or Nia with regards to their business. Well, let's quickly check. Dear Blue, thanks for helping out. The recipe for the flower display rack is ready and attached. Now it's time to work your builder magic. You've got this. P.S. After you've, uh, you're done, just hand it off to me. Okay. Display case. Sure. Um, I wonder if that's something that's going to need the assembly station. Uh, okay, this actually looks a little bit different. Normally, he starts off riding a little bit differently. Hope all's well at your workshop. I can see you from the water tower. I had a little extra money on hand, so I thought maybe I could get you some water for your aid. Uh, for you to aid you in your quest to build stuff for our town. I'm just doing my part. You just keep those machines running. Good luck. Cheers, Birdie boy. Grab all of our stuff here and we'll quickly sort. How much space do I have? Not much, apparently. Oh, I, I've got a little bit, I guess. Should check in on these things. Yeah, resource management in this game doesn't seem to be too much of an issue, aside from materials for building. But I sort of recall that uh, in my time at Porsche, resource management was a bit more challenging. Uh, as if, like, we didn't constantly have enough water or didn't ha constantly have enough um, fuel to, to power all of our machines. Um, that's what I recall anyway, or perhaps maybe I was just not playing the game right <laughs> and found it difficult for that reason. Okay, things are looking good. Industrial Recycler, let's get you working on Nano Waste. And maybe aluminium scrap. Rubber scrap, I think. We'll stock up on that. Um, and let's look at the farm, actually. I've been ignoring the farm for a little bit. I think we're still looking okay for food. A 
Okay, um, why don't we go back to wheat? Maybe leaks here. And I want to switch to Mountain Rose, I think. Okay, looking good. So hopefully I don't have to come back and tend to that too quickly. Um, Mian's just over there. Should I check in to see if we can hang out? I thought my dream of running a shop was forever lost once I became a builder. But here we are. It's just like Ma said. Give your all every day so you can seize those once in a lifetime opportunities when they come your way. If I hadn't worked hard as a builder, I wouldn't have the money to invest in Nia's idea. And I wouldn't be a shop owner now. Uh, I knew Pablo was quick with the scissors, but I didn't expect him to be so good with the needle too. Okay. Hmm. Gosh, I really wish I had a bronze plate. Bronze plate? You don't have, have one to spare, do you? Um, and would I then gift a bronze plate to her, or how does that work? But anyway, we can't hang out at the moment, I don't think. But hopefully she'll like one of these. Thanks, I love it! Sweet, alright. A bronze plate, though, so uh, is that something that I would have to gift? Take it easy. I guess, but bronze plates. I think I should have some in storage. Problem is actually finding it in storage. Bronze plates. Sweet. Um, move to the inventory. Yes. I wish I didn't have to move all of it, but anyway. It's fine. Uh, now I, I just have to try and find Mian again. <laughs> She's just disappeared so quickly. Yeah, I actually have no idea where she is. Maybe, maybe I'll come back to giving Mia and her bronze plates and uh, we can sort of focus on some more commissions for the day. Rhino horn cactuses, sure that's paying quite a bit. And then I guess the last thing that I would want to pick up maybe should be these, the cantaloupes. Right. Yeah, if we bump into Mian again, I'll see if I can give her those bronze plates. I feel like the music has also changed. Just slightly. There's, uh, I could hear more violin in the tune now. When we're actually in town. That's kind of cool. Unless I'm just sort of noticing it right now, and perhaps maybe it's always been there. <laughs> there, there is a possibility. I remember going up to that tree when I was young. Coop would sit on a rock and sing me the sweetest songs. It's lovely to see a piece of sand rock history come back to life. I'll catch you later. Do we, by any chance, have more events happening? Now that we've 
sort of hit up all of them. Hmm. I don't think so. It's alright. Howdy. A fashion show? Should be tourist central, right? Hmm. Maybe I can take the opportunity to do a little guerrilla marketing. Sandrock's getting more beautiful every day. The living sculptures are really something, uh, something, aren't they? Hmm, maybe I should consider these for a park expansion. See ya. I really do hope that there's actually going to be some kind of a park expansion, like, quest line, because that'd be kind of cool. Heidi, Hello. maintaining your hmm. top score, I see. Pablo doing his sketches since he was a little kid. So a surprise? Nah, I'm just surprised it took this long. Hmm. My grandma used to tell me stories about when she was growing up here. She said it used to be real beautiful before it all went downhill. It's nice. I kind of feel like I'm living in her childhood. Catch you later. All right, give me that. Let's try. You just gotta remember that this does progress time a little bit. Ooh, that was close. Alright. Let's not get too carried away, shall we? So, uh, I don't want to risk not making it to the fireside meeting. Uh, one thing that I would like to do though, since we're here in front of the museum, is uh, I should actually go to that fish pond section and we'll donate all of the rare fish that we've found. But, uh, hopefully that'll improve the, um, the museum even more. So, yep, we'll donate that, that, and... Oh, hang on. There we go. Sweet. Obviously there's room for even more. So maybe we'll get around to that. I donate more stuff here. Not exactly. I do have stuff I could donate, but I sort of want to use that for our own house. Maybe if we do get around to picking up more relics eventually, might be able to try and donate more stuff. And perhaps maybe that's something that I should try and focus on doing, is uh, going ruin diving again. And just focusing on the relics. Dambi? Hello! Thank you. Aww. Sandrock looks better than I ever could have imagined it. The sun is shining, birds are chirping, plants are blooming, we live in a paradise blue. We most certainly do. A bit of a sandy paradise, but it is a paradise nonetheless. Okay, so with that all out of the way, I'm sort of curious to see if I can find Nian roaming around anywhere. Because we have her bronze plates. I guess maybe we can't really find her unless, unless she's out in the Ufala Outback for whatever reason. Um, alright. Well, I suppose I should be doing a little bit more gathering and the like. So, uh, that's what we'll do right now. To kill time before it's the fireside meeting time. Actually, uh, again, I need to remember to buy these lamps. I don't know how quick the stock gets restored. Maybe it is daily. There's a few other things here as well that might be interesting, like 
artwork, pot plants. We've got plenty of the purple hydrasias though, so probably don't want to grab too many of those. Alright, first things first, I think I'm gonna uh, hit up you fella salvage for stuff from there. And then, yeah, I'm not entirely sure, guys, because um, timing-wise, it's a little bit uh, difficult for us to go out and, say, do a little bit of ruin diving. I guess if we do go ruin diving, I also need to sort of decide where I want to go um, and which ruins have relics that we haven't really displayed. That I'm not entirely sure of. Uh, and uh, perhaps maybe I should be going to some of the ruins that I haven't exactly been to in a very long time. Possibly the the Mole Cave Ruins, or, um... Yeah, I'm just trying to remember all of the available ones. I mean, there's Starship Abandoned Ruins. We have been there quite a few times. Maybe even Gecko Station. Haven't been to Gecko Station in a while. There is a little section here. Which would suggest that this is an area that is uh, accessible, but I think we have been around this side and we found that there was no pathway forward. Anyway. Right. Just gonna do a little bit of gathering around the area because I know Fireside is going to happen at 5. So we're getting very, very close. Might as well gather up some more, like, bloodstone and stuff. We don't really have too much of those. Perhaps maybe even quartz and stuff as well from normal gravel. I can't remember exactly where we get the uh, fine wood scraps. Ah, there we go, from these things. Yeah, it's been a while. But I think there's probably a few more of those things sitting around in this area.
Okay, fireside meeting should be happening soon, right? So, um, oh, okay, that's a reminder for it, but the fireside meeting doesn't happen until 6. So we do still have a tiny bit more time. Okay, I think we're good to go. Fireside meeting is about to happen. So, let's head out there. I'll call Merle just so that we can get there a little bit faster. to this fireside meeting, everyone. Wow, <laughs> quite a turnout. Now, I hardly need to mention all the magnificent progress our town has made in recent days. One need only take a short look around. Water flows into the town from the north, a forest of trees surrounds and protects us from sandstorms, and Sandrock itself has become a bastion of life, the oasis we always knew it could be. On behalf of everyone who made this happen, our builders, our researchers in the moisture farm, and you too, the citizens who encouraged us all to be the best we could be, I welcome you to a new age for Sandrock. Can I get a yeehaw? Never thought I'd see the day. To a better Sandrock. We love you, Trudy. I tend to find happy endings a bit tiring, but... Oh, just this once I'll let loose. Yee-haw! We the best! We did it! I say we make Trudy fair for life! All hail the new Sand Rock Order! <laughs> they tried to knock us down, but we never gave up. Yeah, we did it, everyone. With that said, the next Quinquennial Free Cities Alliance Summit is coming up. Usually, it's hosted by Atara or Highwind. But this time, I have volunteered Sandrock to host. And the council has accepted. Quinquennial. Um, not entirely sure what that word means, actually. I would have to look that up, but... <laughs> I guess I guess it it's some kind of a frequency. It was always Martel's dream to share this beautiful oasis with her fellow man. That dream was taken from her by greed. But we have restored it with indomitability and telesis. Other than the leaders of the Free Cities, I also propose that we invite any and all from across the Free Cities to come and see what we have done during the summit. To see the jewel of the Yuvala as it once was, the stuff of legend thought to be washed away by the sands of time, now here as real as you and me. Sand rock yeah, on the world stage, huh? Party at the blue moon? The last we got time we had so many bowls. folks interested in the town. I agree. Let's invite everyone. Thank you for your support. Having a legend like you on my side gives me great confidence. That's right. What's the point of doing anything if you can't even brag about it? Them city <laughs> slickers still think we're all a bunch of backwater sand billies. How many lands did y'all greenify? How many sandstorms y'all eradicated? How many licks does it take to get to the chocolate center of a sand roll? <laughs> uh, what's the point of doing anything if you can't even brag about it? Oh, yes, um, save it for the reception. 
I want everyone to invite everyone they know, anyone who might be interested in seeing our new Sandrock, whether it be family, friends, or business partners. It's gonna be a big celebration. Okay, we've got a bit of a problem with Rosie being here, like, and being bugged out. I wonder if, if Rosie's tenure at our place has expired and that's why she's in town. Any other questions or objections? Should we pal back our personalities again? <laughs> you know what? No, not at all. Going forward, I want us to be us. If someone doesn't want to be here because of who we are, well then, that's their loss. And Owen, as you suggested, I believe the Blue Moon will be as good a place as any to hold a banquet. The summit will take place over the course of a few days. And, well, I'll let you know the schedule when I do. Okay, sounds like we're gonna be busy then. Perhaps maybe we're gonna have to cook up a storm along with Grace and Owen? Ooh, I'll get those bowls sparkling. Till then, everyone just relax. Maybe put a new flower or two in your garden if you get the time. Every little bit helps. Can do. Builders, perhaps some last minute preparations may find their way onto the commission board, but I'm sure it's nothing you and the guild can't handle. Rest easy, Mayor. Our builders are the best around. Good. I'll inform everyone of the exact date once it's set in stone. With that, I think we can call this meeting to an end. I'd like, if I may, to conclude with a familiar phrase. One that has taken on new meaning in this new age of Sandrock history. For all we've been through, can we please just have one more... Conserve water! Oh, thank you. Beautiful. All right. And uh, we're going to have like a, a huge free cities get together over here. Some kind of a summit. So... I imagine that's where the story is really taking us. Oh, um, See you. Every, everyone's got something to say, but hang on. Let me have a chat and uh, make sure we hire um, Rosie once more because, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get her doing stuff at home. That pop is really quite talented. He's a wonderful apprentice. Oh, don't tell him I called him my apprentice. He's the boss. <laughs> So you saved the tree. That's wonderful. I used to see Mort and Martel go there together. It always meant so much to him. Catch you later. Yeah, I'm really glad that we managed to save the tree. Alright guys, well this seems like a good place uh, to actually call an, an episode, I feel. Um, so when we come back, no doubt things are going to get a little bit busy again thanks to that summit. I don't think there's anything in the list just yet so we'll probably focus on the uh, Botanica quest line first. Uh, we'll get that out of the way and I sort of want to get the uh, the fashion show done before this summit happens but otherwise things will sort of get a little bit uh, jumbled I reckon. But we'll see how we go. Anyway thanks for watching guys. Drop that like if you enjoyed the video. Stay true, and I'll see you guys in the next one.